you will now learn how to make that smooth Titanfall 2 movement. In this tutorial, I'm going to, as closely as possible, replicate the Titanfall 2 movement system, while also keeping it simple enough for your brain to comprehend what is happening. This will be pretty fast, so if you miss something, go back and pause. Create an empty game object and call it player. Then, add a capsule as the body, an empty game object called ground check placed just below his feet, and also parent the main camera to the player. Add a character controller to the player object and a script for controlling the camera. Open the script. You will need a few variables. The X and C rotation of the camera, a public float for the sensitivity, and also some variables to clamp the X movement in between. Lock the cursor to the middle of the screen and also make it invisible. Then, in the update function, add these two lines. They will set the rotation to the respective X and Y movement of the mouse. Clamp the camera X movement so you can't infinitely break your neck. Finally, rotate the body along the set axis and the camera along the X axis. Assign the camera and set the sensitivity. Nice. And now for the movement. Create a new script, open it, and create a variable for the character controller called controller. A vector for moving the controller, and one vector for storing the input. Then, add a float for the speed and another float for the run speed. Don't forget to get the controller in the void start, create a function for handling the input. In it, get the input by assigning the input vectors x variable to the horizontal input, the y to zero, and the c to vertical. Then, for this to work, we also need to add these two lines. If I'm going to be honest, I don't exactly know what they do, but it works if you add them. Lastly, we need to create the movement on the ground. Set the speed variable to run speed, and the reason I don't just have one variable for speed is we're going to need more variables later. Then set the move x variable to plus equals the input.x times run speed. And if we aren't pressing any buttons, we should just stop moving, so set the move x to zero. If you don't do this, the character will continue sliding if you let go of the WSD keys. Also, do the same for the set axis. Clamp the length of the move vector to the speed variable. And then in the update method, add all the other methods as well as a line for actually moving the controller. In the inspector, assign the speed, and you now have movement. Now you might notice that we are floating. Uh, this is because we haven't invented gravity yet. So we open the script and add more fun variables. One vector 3 for the player's y velocity, an int for the amount of jumps left, because there's double jump in Titanfall, a layer mask for the ground, a bool to tell if you're on the ground, and also floats for gravity, normal gravity, and jump height. Next, we want to apply the gravity. So we assign the gravity to the normal gravity, increase the y-velocity with the gravity so you're constantly being pulled down, and also move the controller along the y-velocity. Create a function to check if you're on the ground. Write this line that checks in a sphere around the ground check object with a radius of 0.2f, and that is looking for an object with the ground mask attached. Now you also need to make sure that you have a ground and also that you have a layer mask called something like ground on that object. In the check ground, we also want to set the jump charges to 1 if we are on the ground. Now go to the handle input method and add a line for pressing the spacebar. Make sure you can only jump if you have any jump charges left. Lastly, make a function called jump, in which you increase the player's y velocity with this function right here. It also just works, so don't worry about understanding. Remember to apply the gravity and check for ground in the update function. Also, assign all the variables. And remember to put the gravity at negative, because otherwise you will go up instead of down. But we still have the save movement in the air as on the ground, so to fix this, add a new variable for the airspeed and a new function for the air movement. In here, we want momentum to stay when we start pressing the input, so we only need to copy these two lines to continue building up speed. Also, don't forget to set the move variable. Then, if we're on the ground, we use the ground movement, and otherwise we use the air movement. Set the airspeed to 0.3 and you can now fly. The last thing we're gonna add for this video is crouching and sprinting. You need two bools, one for crouching and one for sprinting. Two new floats for crouch speed and sprint speed, as well as variables for the height and center of the character when standing and when crouching. Changing the speed is easy. Go to the ground movement function and check if you're sprinting. Then use sprint speed. If you're crouching, use crouch speed, otherwise use run speed. Go to the handle input function and check to see if you're pressing either shift or C. If you're pressing down shift, set is sprinting to true, and if you're not, set it to false again. If you're pressing down the C key, start the crouch function, and if you're not, start the exit crouch function, which we will be creating now. In the crouch function, you want to change the height of the controller to crouch height and the center to the crouch center. You also want to scale down the player body by setting the Y scale to crouch height. Lastly, set is crouching to true. Now, copy this function and call it exit crouch. In this function, we will do the opposite for everything to set it back to normal. Start height, standing center, and start height times 2, because otherwise you will scale it wrong. Also, set is crouching to false again. Remember to assign start height to transform the local scale of y in the start function, then go back into Unity and assign the variables to these numbers. And you now have sprinting and crouching.
This video was just a setup for the second video, which is going to be way more fun. We're going to add wall running and sliding and potentially even climbing. So go watch that video next.